your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Cold air, cloud cover, and northerly wind still hanging in around the area. What has not really materialized of any significance today has been the snow. A few flurries still possible tonight. These snow showers have actually formed in the clouds and tried to fall to the ground multiple times during the day. The air beneath the clouds is just really dry and just eats it apart. And so we're really not looking at much of that to arrive all the way down to the surface tonight. A better chance for snow will be when the heavier round comes through, and that's going to hit areas of Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, and southwest Missouri and West central Missouri a little bit harder and for us it'll be just a little bit to our east and southeast. More sunshine returns on Thursday and then a slightly warmer weekend out ahead of us before maybe a little bit more cold air moving in again next week. But cloud cover in Emporium had some snow showers pushed through at times today. Same for areas around Manhattan and Topeka, but it just nothing stuck. It was not that much. We were looking at very light amounts out of it. Currently 31 degrees with a northerly wind at 20 miles per hour, driving the current wind chill down to 19. Now that is something that we've had in no short supply. Cold wind today. Temperatures have hovered between 30 and 33 degrees all day long. It's currently 29 at Blue Rapids, 31 at Forbes Field, 29 at Emporia, so most certainly cold out there. And the northerly winds have been just as strong as expected, running at about 15 to 20 right now for most areas. Tack that on to the already cold temperatures and the wind chills are into the upper teens and low 20s currently. Heading through the night and into the day tomorrow, we're not going to see a huge improvement as wind chills kind of hover through the teens, maybe some low 20s toward the afternoon tomorrow, so it remains quite chilly over the next 24 to maybe even 36 hours. But snow showers, as I mentioned, have been limited. We're watching this area over the northeastern corner of the Oklahoma or the uh, Texas Panhandle, northwestern Oklahoma. That may spread northeastward later on tonight and give us a scattering of light snow showers once again. So not that we're done with the snow chance. We just don't have a significant amount of that moisture moving directly at us. And a lot of this will end up forming and really targeting these areas just to our southeast. And that looks to be the more uh, in line for the precipitation areas. So maybe some snow showers drifting up our way. But then the main round develops late tonight into the morning, initially over Oklahoma, starts to spread into southern Missouri and could start to spread and advance northward, at least into our far southeastern counties. But southern, southeastern Kansas, a good portion of Missouri will be seeing this during the day tomorrow. If it can stay just south of Kansas City, that certainly alleviates the travel issues that could come with some snow and a large number of people headed toward the parade as well. But these scattered snow showers kind of clipping through at times during the day tomorrow and then eventually push away to the east and by Thursday we're back in the clear here. Tonight we're dropping down to 23 north breezes at 10 to 20. Tomorrow 31, maybe some passing snow showers, especially east and southeast. Any accumulation looks to be minor and most likely just south and east of our viewing area with a north wind at 10 to 20. After that moves on through, we'll see a high of 38 on Thursday, 39 on Friday, and then some 40s as we head into the weekend. Starts to trail back a little bit. We've got our eyes on a system sometime between Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, but a lot of uncertainty with that one as some temperature cooling expected back into the upper 30s by next Tuesday. You may have noticed a lot of rippling nature to the clouds. You can see from uh, Rick Dykstra at Milford, as well as the wavy nature to these clouds as well from Dan Fulagi and Bellevue. As these storm systems approach, you get a lot of rippling currents at the cloud level. Call those an undulating altostratus undulatus. There's a fun word for you. <laughs> and from Donna Ohm taking near Horton, a few breaks in the clouds as well. But overall,